Good afternoon. My name is Matthew Eugene, and I'm the chair of the Committee on Civil and Human Rights. Today we are voting on sexual, anti sexual harassment bills that we heard at last month during a joint hearing between uh, this committee and the Committee on Women, chaired by my colleague Elaine Rosenthal. I, will, I would like to, to thank her for taking the lead on this issue, and I'm proud to support uh, her and the other council members in getting this uh, large package of bill passed. I'd like also to thank uh, my colleagues in the committee for their support. Council member Carlos Pekins, Rodriguez, Lender, and council member uh, Jerome. Today we will uh, vote on the following bills. Proposing to number 614A, by Council Member Alika Samuel, and congratulations, Council Member. Because I heard this is your first one. Congratulations, and we are proud of you. Thank you. In relation to requiring information about sexual harassment to be made available online for public access, Proposal Number Six Five Seven A by Council Member Keith Powers, in relation to expanding sexual harassment protection to all employees. Proposing to a number 660A by Council Member Kalina Rivera in relation to making improvements to clarify and strengthen the human rights law as is related to sexual harassment. Proposing to number 663A by Council Member Len Rosenthal in relation to the statute of uh, limitation for filing certain harassment uh, claim arising under the city human rights law. Resolution number 222-222 by Council Member Danik Miller. Resolution calling upon the United States Congress to pass and the President to sign S2203 HR 4734, known as uh, the Ending Force Arbitration of Sexual Harassment Act of 2017, which prohibits a pre-dispute arbitration agreement from being valid or enforceable if it requires arbitration of a sex discrimination dispute. This package of bills represents a step toward combating and dismantling the social attitude that have long allowed the perpetrators of sexual harassment to escape consequences. We recognize uh, that uh, there is still much more work uh, to do in addressing uh, the aggrievance of the Me Too movement. However, this anti-sexual harassment package is an important start and will pave the way toward improvements and our New York City addresses sexual harassment. I would like, I would like to take uh, this opportunity to thank the Civil and Human Rights uh, Committee staff, Balki Mirigs, Sheila Johnson, Leah Skripiak, I hope that I pronounce it right, and my staff, Adam, Julian, and Roslyn Joinville, for all the work on, you know, on this hearing. Before I call the vote, I would like to give the opportunity to my colleagues to make comment on the bill. Who want to start first? Council Member Rosenthal? Uh, I, I just appreciate all your work. Thank you very much, Council Member. Okay, thank you. And uh, one more time, congratulations for your leadership in addition to this very, very important issue. Council Member Kellos? Blender? Who is going to no comment? Oh, <laughs> Council Member Sal, Samuel. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Eugene, Chair of this committee, and the other members of the Committee on Civil and Human Rights. Today, as a member of the Women's Caucus, a wife, a mom, a sister, a daughter, and yet another woman with her own Me Too story, 
I am proud to sponsor intro number 614A that will require information about sexual harassment be made available online for public access. This bill is quite simple and just makes sense. It's almost intriguing that such a bill is even necessary in this day and time, but it's the world that we live in. We also live in the 21st century, the digital age and the technology age, and in a time where anything and everything we need is just at our fingertips. And we have to be consistent with the times. When you think about sexual harassment and workplace information, you often think about the office cafeteria or a wall near the water cooler or even bathroom entrances. But could you imagine feeling violated at work, then standing next to the water cooler, reading instructions about what to do next? It's almost another sense of violation. This process of making information available online in a way is just another sense of being able to feel empowered, allowing the individual to take back control of their situation. It also allows for a more discreet way of handling sexual harassment information for those who actually need privacy. And I'm glad to see that the Human Rights Commission is already setting up their initiative in rolling out their digital campaign. So I wanna thank the speaker and I wanna thank Councilmember Rosenthal as well as Councilmember Eugene on pushing such an aggressive bill package because again, like I said, it just makes sense today. So as I look forward to this committee passing this bill package and then forwarding on to the full body council and hopefully being signed into law, we're just doing the right thing that makes sense at the right time. So thank you again for this opportunity and um, let's move forward. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, we have been joined also by Councilmember Carolina Rivera. I think that she want to make some comment about uh, Bill. Yeah. Thank you very much and congratulations also. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity to pro provide brief remarks regarding intro 66, 660A. Thank you to Chair Eugene, committee members, staff, and of course Speaker Johnson for all of your leadership and response as a council. In the wake of the intense media scrutiny over the violations and sexual misconduct that have always existed but have now come to light. In this city, we pride ourselves as being fair, progressive leaders, and I introduced this legislation to help us codify legal definitions of and mechanisms to deal with harassment. This bill, part of the Stop Sexual Harassment and NYC Act, would require that the City of New York amend the policy statement of the New York City Human Rights Law to include sexual harassment as a form of discrimination. Taken all together, the full package of legislation strengthens New York City's anti-sexual harassment policies to combat incidents in the workplace. Intro 660 in particular sends a message that addressing sexual harassment remains at the core of the mission of the Human Rights Commission. In recent months, movements such as Me Too and Time's Up have brought forward much needed attention to the issues women continue to face in the workplace throughout various industries. However, this bill will work towards protecting not just women from sexual harassment, but all New Yorkers, regardless of gender, sexual orientation, or gender identity. By explicitly defining sexual harassment as a form of discrimination under the commission's purview, we are defining a person's ability to live free from these incident incidents as a right in itself. With support around this larger movement for equality, it is this body that must push our city to take responsibility and codify change to serve those who, up to now, have been too afraid to speak up. I therefore urge my colleagues, and of course thank you for your support on this piece of legislation and the Stop Sexual Harassment Package entirely. And I look forward to the subsequent support and speedy implementation by the administration. Thank you. Thank you very much, and again, congratulations. Mr. Clark, could you please call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on civil and human rights. All items are coupled. Chair Eugene. I vote aye. Kalos. I am please add me as a sponsor to the legislation and congratulations to my colleagues on their first bills. Lander. 
Here, here, uh, with congrats to Carlina and Alika, and thanks to Helen and to the chair. Um, I vote aye and ask to be added as a co-sponsor on all the bills. Rosenthal. Proudly vote aye and want to thank my colleagues and, of course, my um, partner in arms here, Council Member Eugene. It was a pleasure working with you on this package of bills and, and really thank the speaker for pulling together this, uh, this act of and combination of bills. He, he hit the nail on the head. I appreciate that. So with that, I on all. We have a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items are adopted. Thank you very much uh, to all my colleagues and congratulations. And I want also to conclude by saying thank you and congratulations also to the speaker for his leadership. This is a very important package. We are all part of that. And thank you very much. The meeting is adjourned.